And here is the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday. It's the 11th of August, 2021. It's the birthday of the poet Louise Bogan, Livermore Falls, Maine, 1897. Poetry critic for The New Yorker magazine for 38 years. Louise Bogan, who said, I have no fancy idea about poetry. It's not like embroidery or painting or silk. It doesn't come to you on the wings of a dove. It's something you have to work hard at. It's the birthday of Steve Wozniak, born in Sunnyvale, California, 1950. Always loved electronics. As a kid, he and his friends would build all kinds of gadgets, including intercom systems between their houses. By the age of 11, he was working on a sort of computer. He made a machine that played tic-tac-toe. He met Steve Jobs in 1970, introduced by a mutual friend, and in 1976, they formed their own company and called it Apple. Wozniak said, you didn't have to have a real specific reason for choosing a name when you were a tiny little company of two people. You choose any name you want. The Apple One computer came about when Wozniak got the idea to pair a typewriter keyboard with a television screen. They built it in Jobs' bedroom, and when they ran out of room, they worked in his garage. They hoped to sell 50 of them, and if it didn't work, Jobs told Wozniak at least they could tell their grandkids they'd had their own company. And seven years later, Apple had a stock value of $985 million. It's the birthday of Alex Haley, born in Ithaca, New York, 1921, author of Roots, a saga of an American family, a fictionalized history of seven generations of his family from Africa through slavery in the United States. He also co-wrote the autobiography of Malcolm X. And it was on this day the first civilian prisoners began arriving in Alcatraz, 1934. It had been a military prison. It housed Confederate sympathizers and enemy combatants during the Spanish-American War, then became a federal penitentiary in 1934, a place where dangerous criminals were locked up, but many convicts requested transfers to Alcatraz because there you got your own cell. Alcatraz closed down in 1963 simply because it was so expensive to run and was in constant need of repair. It was on this day in 1937, Edith Wharton died at the age of 75 at her house in Ile-de-France on the outskirts of Paris. She was working on a novel called The Buccaneers, about five wealthy American women who set out to marry aristocratic but poor Englishmen so they can become a duchess or a baroness. She was working on the manuscript right up until the day she died, lying in bed, working on the novel. Each page that she finished, she dropped onto the floor so it'd be collected later. The scholar Marion Mainwaring studied Edith Wharton's plot summary and notes, and she completed the story, The Buccaneers, which was published in 1993. Here's a poem for today by Ramon Montaigne, On the Beach. Children playing on the beach, mad dogs running off the leash, babies eating small mud pies, poison puddles in disguise, surfers paddling out to sea. Are there sharks? There well might be. Children walking to and fro. Are they wearing sunscreen? No. Men who go without long pants or shirts are asking for skin cancer. Naked women soon will be sent to chemotherapy. Food left sitting in the sun, salmonella has begun. Young girls talking to strange men who yesterday were in the pen. The days get hotter near the water here in Sodom. Thank God for autumn. A poem by Ramon Montaigne on the beach, used by permission of the poet here on the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.